Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card, The Spirit of Christmas. So if I just turn this around, you'll be able to see we've got three beautiful panels with a bit of snow effect going on and it folds flat so it's easy to post. And it's a fun card to make three scenes. And let's get started. You're going to score diagonally from corner to corner and then with your tool you're just going to burnish the line just so that we get that lovely crisp line. And I've just wrote artwork on this side of the card just so that I remember my art's going to go onto this side. Using a piece of A4 card you're going to place your square into the top left corner and just make sure that lines with your card. Draw around your square but we're going to create a little tab. So I've done mine already so you can see that's lined up and I've got a little tab here and this is four centimeters by one and a half. And if I just place this onto the black card you'll be able to see Bit better and this is going to tuck into the card to make a hidden way of fastening the card. You don't have to have the tab you can use string or ribbon to fasten your card but I'm going to use this little tab to fasten it. You need to cut yourself another square of seven inches by seven and then we're going to cut it diagonally in half. I'm going to move this piece away and this is the cut line so we're going to place that at an angle and then with the other piece I've just put some black card on here so you can see how to glue it and then this is our cut line and we're just going to place that together so that we end up with like an arrow head and I'm just going to glue that together. So with my glue, just going to quickly just put some glue on. Glue these together. And just leave that to dry. So we end up with an arrow head. So these are our cut lines on the edge. And then you need to cut two squares that is six inches by six inches and then diagonally from corner to corner we're going to cut those into half so that you end up with one two three four triangles and these are going to be for our artwork we only need three of them to do our card with and we're going to use brushes, but you can use anything you want to quickly add some sky colour to them. I'm back to using that arrow head that we've just made. And with these two bottom points, I'm going to line them up onto my mat just so that they are straight. And I think you can just see where I've lined them up. And then with the small triangle that we just cut. I'm just going to place that onto the arrow head just so that I've got a nice little border around it. I'm going to use brushes to do my sky colour with. So I've got here a very watered down turquoise and a violet. 
where it could be a purple and then I'm, with my brush and water I'm just going to quickly just do my horizon line here and then pick up the turquoise and we're just going to quickly add a bit of colour onto our card it doesn't have to be precise just quickly get it on and then with that other colour just blend it nicely onto your card and you can make this as dark as you want or as light and then I'm just going to blend that gently into the bottom of my card and we need to do that on all three pieces and now that my triangles are dry we can now start to do our inking and stamping I'm going to be using the stamping platform but if you haven't got a stamping platform just make sure that these bottom points are on line with your mat or your glass mat and just secure your artwork onto our arrowhead and this way it will make sure that the trees and our foxes are straight and not at a funny angle. So I've already got one into my stamping platform. So I've just pushed that against the bottom and I'm just going to use my magnets to keep that into place. And then I'm just going to pop one of my backgrounds onto my arrowhead ready for inking and stamping. So now I've got my arrowhead and my card in place I'm now just going to use this corner as like my horizon line and I'm just going to bring my fox in line with it and probably just bring him down a little bit. So I think we're doing there. I'm going to pick him up I'm going to use First of Fine Claire Summertime and I'm just going to ink that up solid. And then I'm going to use Acorn and this time I'm just going to keep my ink pad at an angle and we're just going to gently catch the edge of the stamp and do the top of his head and at the side here. So if I just gently, I think you might be able to see roughly where I've inked him up. And then we can stamp him. And there we have our ash going to be using the Christmas tree group and I'm just going to pop this into place so I'm just going to have this coming away slightly into the background and for stamping with I'm going to use Versa Fine Claire Shady Lane but I'm going to stamp in second generation so I'm just going to pop a piece of copier paper over my work, ink this up fully give it a stamp onto that copy of paper and then onto my card and then I'm just going to move this along over the other side just lining it up and then give this another stamp so, ink it up place a copy of paper and then stamp onto our card
I'm going to use the single fairy thistle, but I'm just using the top half here. I'm just going to use my finger to stamp with. Versifying Clair Shady Lane. And all I'm going to do is just stamp on to a piece of copy of paper and then just gently stamp around ash. Now we can start to build up our card. So I'm using Brian Zeal watercolour pencils. So I'm going to use number seven seven eight and all we're going to do is just gently add a bit of green to our trees just very very gently and then we're just going to quickly randomly follow our branches just very quickly and we can add a little bit of greenery just down to this bottom corner here. There. And then this one is seven, two, five. And this is just going to be for our berries here. And then I'm coming back down here, just where we added some of that green, just to build those leaves up. Now we can work on ash. So this one is 734. And I'm just going to start to work on his paws, the bottom of his tail and at the side of him and his head and just gently around his body yeah. I'm just going to leave that one out 720 and again we're just going to blend this in on him just by quickly colouring him in and then with our brush and some water we can now just blend that colour onto him and this is where he starts to come alive
seven three nine now. And because he's still quite wet, I'm just going to use my brush, take off the excess and just pick up some of this brown. And we can just flick some of this up onto his legs. So there we go. Just flicking that up. Please pause there. And you're just going to slowly just keep flicking that up, creating his front paws, his front legs. And then we're just going to do a bit on his tail and at the bottom here. bit on his head, in his nose, his ear. Take a bit on his back paws. And then I'm going to give him a dry before I do any more. Seven oh nine, the black. Now we can start to build up definition. So I'm just going to change my brush, take off the excess, and just gently pick up some of this black. And now we can just build up his front paws and legs. It's little paws at the back here. Yeah. I'm just going to blend that up. What's and a bit onto his nose. A bit onto his ear. I'm going to darken his paws at the back. So we just do those bits and just gently blend that in. And we'll just add a bit of black to the bottom of his tail. Then I'm going back to the orange and I'm just going to use my brush now, run it over, picking some of this lovely orange up and just colour around him. So we're just adding some of this lovely orange to him. And then give him another dry.
back to using the black. And I'm just going to finish off working on ash by just flicking the black up. So we're just going to flick that up, creating his front paws a bit on his nose. And don't forget his paws as well. And then we can just work on a bit on the sides here. And then just use our brush just to gently blend that in. So we're just going to use our brush with a bit of water, take off the excess, and now we're just going to flick that up. Just work around the sides here and a little bit on his nose there we go and I've gone back to using number 744 just to do a bit more shading around him and then with a brush taking off the excess we're just going to gently blend that out now and then give this a final dry going to use a white uniball pen and with this I'm just now going to just finish off doing his white chest just by flicking some hairs out a little bit of work on his tail and just use my finger just to blend it and then we can just do the sides of him And just use our finger just to gently blend it all in there we go a black micron pen just to give him his eyes and we'll just do a bit for his nose and his mouth And there we have ash. You need to do two more pieces of work. So I've already done those. So I've got here Gideon and then Rufus. I've done Rufus looking up at the North Star. And for the North Star, I've heat embossed it with white embossing powder and then used a yellow pan pastels just to create that shine and then a yellow pen just to give that warm glow from the star.
so I've got the one with my tab here and I'm going to use ash first so I'm going to put some glue on and we're just going to glue that into place now just so that we have a nice bit of a white border around the edge and then I can glue the rest down so just where I wrote the art work there we go so that's two and then my last piece I'm just going to glue that down And then with Rufus, we're just going to glue a piece of card from when we did the mats and layers for our artwork. You should have a piece left over. So I've glued ash on my three and a half inch square. I've glued into place. With Gideon I've done the same thing. I've glued the three and a half inch square and then I've glued the six and seven eighth square onto this side. So this layer here is the layer from here. So now we need to glue these together. So I've got ash here with the tab turn that over and now I've got Gideon so I'm going to place Gideon using that point and that point and putting them together and just folding that over just so that I get a nice point here and then we're just going to roughly just draw a pencil line and now I need to quickly add some glue and then we can glue this together so get that together and now we're going to glue Rufus just up there so what I'm going to do now is just flip it over bring this back just gently draw a pencil line and then I'll know where to glue it so just add some glue Put it together, just lining up everything. And there we have the card all finished and ready 
for you to finish it off with what decorations you would like. And that's the card finish with a couple of snowflakes and I've used the spirit of Christmas verse and I've cut it into strips and added it on to each panel. Thank you for watching. Please take care and I'll hopefully see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.